Okay, uh, hi everyone. This is Shashwat here. Uh, I'm really sorry I didn't realize at all that till now I was on mute. Uh, so guys, this is Shashwat from Ignite India Education. Uh, we have started the Ignite India live classes at on YouTube. I know many of you were awaiting for these classes for quite a long period of time. And uh, Ignite India, like every year, uh, like you know, we have started on the live classes, and uh, every one of you will be able to attend that. Uh, each one of you will be able to attend the classes live on Zoom at Ignite India's platform. Uh, whosoever is there on YouTube watching the video, make sure you go to the description box and fill the Google form provided out over there. We will be having these sessions for a period of time. I will notify you regarding that as well. In the upcoming sessions, you will get an idea about that. As of now, you can attend all the live sessions. And if you want to attend the session live on Zoom, get all the support with the study material, mock test papers and everything. Make sure you fill the Google form, which is provided in the description box. And as of now, we'll be starting the class in a while. Just make sure you share this video link with all your friends in your class groups, in your, like, you know, your friend circle and all so that everyone giving data, everyone going for architecture can join this and make sure you all score 150 plus. We will make it happen for this year and we will create like, you know, a batch mark or we, we will create a mark on at this year that Ignite students can do it. So make sure you prepare with us, stay tuned to the channel, subscribe it and go and fill the desk, uh, like, you know, Google form in the description box. And today's class topic, most importantly, what we are going to discuss in design principle is all about emphasis. So today, uh, like, you know, make sure you stay tuned and uh, invite all your friends as of now. We'll be discussing regarding that topic and the chat box is open to you all. I'll be asking quite a few questions to all of you who are attending live on YouTube as well. You will be able to answer the question. You have any doubts, any clarification you need regarding NADA exam, when it's going to be held, how you should prepare, what uh, you need any help from us. Just go and write it down in the chat box. I will get back to you in the class on this live session only. Okay. So yeah, guys, uh, we will start the session in a while. Just stay tuned. Okay, guys, uh, I just checked the chat box right now. So before starting the class, I can see here uh, Shatis has told hello. So hello to Shatis and hello to everyone uh, who are there watching this live session. Uh, I see here Neha Pujari, uh, maths lesson. Uh, yeah, Neha, we will have the maths session as well with all of you. So okay. don't worry about that. Uh, the maths session will be there for all of you. Uh, you'll have a few sessions live on YouTube and make sure you fill the Google form because you need to attend the sessions live on Zoom, get all the study materials to prepare well and to clarify your doubts, okay, in a proper manner, in a proper class. Uh, okay, and Sanjay is there. Yeah, hi, Sanjay. Uh, uh, like, you know, be there for the class. Uh, stay tuned and we will start regarding design principles today. So, yeah, just hold on. Okay, uh, Gauri has joined the class. Gauri, just drop a text in your group uh, in the mean, uh, meanwhile, like, you know, for others to join. Gauri, am I audible to you? Yes, yes, okay. Yeah, just drop a text in the group for others to join, okay? We'll start the class.
yeah uh, hi everyone this is shashwat here uh, so we have like you know just uh, people who have joined right now i can see uh, there is five people on uh, like you know currently viewing this video just you can uh, go back and have a check i'll just uh, mention some points regarding the ignite india live classes that we are going to have for all of you right now so just uh, have a look at those points and all okay and uh, in the meantime we will start the class so today's class will be regarding design principles as discussed but uh, i'll just take a couple of minutes from all of you uh, i guess all of you have joined the class as well so guys just give me a minute uh, we will start the class okay just hold on a second okay am i audible to all uh, can you can one of you just confirm uh, yes sir you are audible. okay so uh, guys can all of you just switch on the video like you know because we are having some youtube live sessions as well so it's better it's kind of interactive for the people who are like you know listening to the class uh this will be there for quite a few sessions uh, so yeah it's better once you can like you know just switch on your videos all of you regia uh, and the others gauri is there i guess just joining from my laptop just give me a second so that i can share the screen okay uh guys so okay. uh guys we will be like you know the going on with the design principle uh the last day i guess so we have discussed uh regarding the different uh, design principles which includes mostly your uh, symmetrical balance symmetrical balance and radial balance and today we will be starting from uh your this thing uh what we call it as uh i'm forgetting the term uh, emphasis yeah so we will be starting from emphasis we will discuss most importantly regarding emphasis the uh, regarding which the class is all about so yeah just uh, hold on a second and give me a minute okay okay am i audible to all uh, i just switched to my laptop can you just can you guys just confirm me if i am audible to all Yes, sir. Okay, and people who are live on YouTube, uh, can you all also just uh, confirm that uh, if, uh, like, you know, I'm audible to all of you? Yes, no. You can write it down in your chat box which you have. Okay. Meanwhile, let's just share the screen. Mm. Okay. Ah, uh, Gauri, Nikhil, Vijaya. Okay. fine it's 9:15 already so we will start with the class and just give me a second Fine. Uh, guys, just confirm me if the uh, screen is visible to you all or not. Okay, is the screen visible to all? Yes, yes sir. So we discussed till radial balance, right? Last day. Yes, sir. Okay. So today we will be starting from emphasis, and uh, most importantly, so that like you know there is no hindrance and all. Uh, guys, this is not for you all. Just uh, for the people who are watching live on YouTube. uh guys we have already covered uh, like you know symmetrical balance symmetrical and radial balance uh which is a part of the design principles so make sure all of you if you are uh, willing to join the classes and all you just go to the description box and fill the google form uh, there will be people from uh, like you know the institution who will be contacting you okay and you will be shared with all the details so make sure you do that and today we will be discussing regarding one of the most important topics that is emphasis 
So yeah, we will start with the class from here on. And if you have any questions, you can write it down in the chat box. So uh, after like, you know, in the meantime, while we discuss a part and we proceed to the next, uh, in that time gap, I'll be answering all your questions. Okay. Fine. Uh, so yeah, now uh, guys, we will discuss regarding emphasis. So uh, uh, just a minute. Uh, you guys first tell me what idea you have about emphasis when you hear the term. See, it's something written over here as well. Don't read that out. Just to give me an explanation. Okay, like what comes to your mind if you need to answer it at one or two words? What what would you tell about emphasis? Gauri? No, I don't have any idea. Like, I don't okay. know. Others, what do you think? Seeing the picture or like, you know, uh, don't read the text. Just tell me seeing the picture or I guess the emphasis is something which the term which, you know, many people do use uh, in your uh, regular, like, you know, verbal communication as well. So what do you mean by emphasizing on something or so? Related to logo. Related to logo or something. Uh, okay, what do you mean? Like, you know, or what is uh, what is the essence of it? Uh, I'm not asking you to relate it with something, but what is the essence? What do you understand when someone is asking you to emphasize on something? To catch a, a, like attention. Okay, something. so it's something like, you know, attracting or something standing out from the other ones. So, See, I will give you a very simple example, okay? You see the logo of Amazon right here in the below, right? So, like, you know, we get to see the emphasis in this smiley kind of thing, like, you know, this arrow with a smiley kind of uh, face which has been created over there. So, when we have in our composition, just speaking very frankly, we have a composition with several components. Now, out of there, emphasis is something which is drawing your attention to that particular object or that per anything it can be. Okay, this particular spot. So you see, like, you know, uh, today, uh, I will just uh, show you guys once. Today, what we have uh, from my phone, I'm just showing you guys, okay? Today, uh, this is the, uh, I don't know if you guys can see or not. Uh, is it visible? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Uh, I will just hold a second. Yeah. Let me get this. Uh, see. Very clearly, what you see over here, okay, this this composition which is made over here, out of all this, like this is a YouTube thumbnail which is made for the video, but when you see this composition, there are several bubbles out over here, okay, of uh, shades, but out of which this black color one is standing out from them, which is drawing your attention. When you just look at the image, it's very simple. As soon as you look at that composition, that, that point will draw it. You will notice that particular... You notice anything or else doesn't matter. But since that is pointed out, it's something similar as you have a set of text and you want to highlight someone, you like, you know, highlight it using a color in the background or you highlight it by bolding it out. S same thing. You want the reader or you want the viewer's attention to be drawn to that particular object. That is all about emphasis. So uh, I just now mentioned what is written over here. It tells that emphasis is used to draw attention in design uh, and space. Emphasis can be created by using the, any or all of the elements of design and design principles. Okay, it's uh, it solved many practical needs of daily life. That is road uh, road signals. Okay, alert alarms, important indicators, signifiers, uh, signifiers, and etc. So you see, in road, like you know, you have a symbol which is demarcating something. So where you need to have an emphasizing thing, you have seen those, I guess uh, most of you, when you are driving on a, like, you know, a highway or some kind of thing, you have seen those, uh, the, uh, like, you know, those uh, colored uh, radiators are there, like, you know, where uh, light reflects and come back. It's uh, like glows. Have you seen? I guess all of you have noticed that on highways and all the airport, uh, either in the center and all the sites. Guys, can you confirm that? Yes, no? Yes. Yeah, right? So that is like, you know, what's drawing your attention. So that is put in the roads to make you understand that, okay, don't go so near because like, you know, or that is the end coming. After that, you don't have the road. 
so it's a kind of border created so like you know that, that's what is written over here that is uh, we use it in uh, this uh, daily uh, usage is mostly in the signals and all important indicators as well as it's used as an aesthetic and signature in lifestyle fashion logos poster interior spaces depending on requirement and that determine and speak a lot about human behavior and now how do we use it like you know people might ask how do we use it in our daily lives or something or might be in fashion or lifestyle so fashion i guess everyone you have seen that uh, uh, when there is this uh, like you know fashion the uh, not fashion this awards ceremony and all going on for this bollywood and the actors and all have you guys seen that guys please just confirm yes no or something yes Jumaid, Taib, Shahid, Nikhil. What about you guys? Jumaid, am I? Are you there? Am I audible to you? Yes, I'm there. Yeah. Yeah. Have yes, you noticed that? Those award ceremonies and all. Yes, sir. Yeah. Jumaid, just switch on your. Too far to turn. Interaction. Okay, sir. Sir, just two minutes. in the meantime uh, others like you know who can switch on your video rajia can you rajia your video things are off i guess okay uh, taib shahid is there Yes, yes sir. sir yeah can you guys yeah. गौरी रेजिया तईब शायद सुमेन एनी वन यू कैन आई गेस निखिल जस्ट गॉट लॉकड आउट स्विच ऑन योर वीडियो I'm sorry, sir, but I will not be able to. Yeah, I saw your text. I guess. Yeah. Fine, no issues. So it's the one I can. There are relatives in my home. Only can you get a one? Fine, fine, no issues. Before Shumit switch on, we will come to with some other question to Shumit. In the meantime, ah, uh, like you know, um, ah, uh, what I was discussing regarding that you have, I guess, all of you have noticed uh, when this fashion awards are going on. most importantly there will be some of the other person and i just i just don't want to mention any name because it's going live if it just was an internal session i could have mentioned so uh, if you have you have noticed right some actors and all they dress in some way that your eye your eyes will catch their attention you your eyes will go like you know you will uh, look at them so they they draw your attention so that is what emphasis is all about uh, you know like you need to uh, uh, when you are doing a structure most importantly when it's coming to the point of structure then uh, emphasis is all about where there are several homes created out of cubes and are uh, like you know cuboids you are making something different you are creating some arches you are creating some different shape might be some organic shape and all and you are giving it and give a different space or a different area so which is standing out of the box so that is what is emphasis all about uh okay someone is asking that uh, how can we join the session in the youtube so make sure all of you watching the session just go to the description box and fill the google form uh you will you will be connected within a short period of time and you can join the session uh, not for the day not for today today session all of you be live on youtube itself so we will connect you and we will catch you up from the next session so you need to do some registration process and all uh, don't worry about that you just go and fill the google form we will get you all the details okay 
Uh, if you have any other questions, you can also write it down in the chat box. Okay, yeah, Sumit, uh, you missed the question. We are over with it. So, uh, like, you know, can you just give me uh, any example of emphasis what you have noticed might be in your surrounding or something? You're not audible, Sumit. You're on mute. Sumit, you need to unmute yourself, I guess. So I'm audible now. Yeah, you're audible. Yeah, yeah. Sumit, you can tell. Uh, sir, actually, uh, I was uh, the I was uh, I wasn't on the I was actually traveling when you. You said something about I actually just uh, uh, arrived at home, so uh, it took time. Fine. Uh, you tell me something like you know you have just traveled, you came and all, or in your home right now, the house where you are. I'm at home what, right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what can you what, what what can you relate with emphasis right now if you look around in your room? Uh, emphasis, sir. Emphasis. Uh, uh, you look. So actually, uh, you I don't look, have an idea. What is you, you look on the ceiling. You just have a look at the ceiling. Uh, okay. Okay. Don't look at the ceiling. I've got a better example for you. Okay. Uh, hmm. Once I look at you, uh, others who all are looking at you, they will better relate it. Let me just turn your head like this. Okay. So right now, see guys, the emphasis that we can see in respect with Shumi, okay, uh, I don't know if I can just uh, pin his video. Uh, so just hold on a second, let me see. I, I'm not the host of the focus. So emphasis right now is what we have in the central part of his head, okay? Rest all he has removed completely. Uh, don't worry, Shumi, uh, even I would like that. Okay, it's nothing. Uh, uh, like that. So the emphasis. Sir, actually, all... it was a mistake doing this cut. So I was nervous for sure. Yeah. You're grown up enough to have that hairstyle. It's a misconception of people that they think this is bad. That's a concept created. Man, my parents actually didn't like it. Previously, see, so you just tell your yeah. parents what I explained is when you go to the older days, okay, you have seen people, Rajas and Maharajas, they have hair till, like, you know, till the back. They have long yeah. ears. So it, it always goes with the trend. Previously, you go, I have shown you, I guess, in the previous classes and all, that uh, how design and how everything changes the time. You see people of the movies, uh, like, you know, back in 2000 or in the 19, uh, like, you know, 90s, you see people dressed in a completely different manner. College student, if they are showing, it's completely dressed in a different manner. Today's movies, you see, it, it's in a different manner because everything is changing from time to time. And the people who is asking you for something, he is relating it to his perspective. So that's how things really go on. Okay. Anyways, fine. So I guess emphasis, I have given a very vivid example of that. Now let's move on and see, uh, like, you know, to the other things that we have. In so emphasis is change. Emphasis is change. Is that what you're saying? Something. Yeah. Emphasis is all about something that you have that, uh, like, you know, that, uh, that you have in a composition. The composition need not to be something that you have drawn. Composition can be anything. Composition can be as like, you know, just for example, if I just take an image of what I have right now, a laptop, a uh, uh, drafting table in front of me, my like, you know, uh, this, uh, 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 my uh, wall is there with some paintings and all. So just a snap of this, whatever you have inside it is a composition. Now, inside that, if you have, like, you know, if something particular is drawing your attention, once you look at that, that is catching your eye. Like in 7up, you have up, which is catching your, uh, like, you know, attraction. In nift, you have this red color, ka, like, you know, this eye ka dot in red color, which is drawing your attention. So, uh, see, uh, over here, you have this yellow color dot, which is drawing your attention. So, that is all about emphasis. Something used to draw attention in design, something which is standing out of the box, looking different from what is whatever is all around it. That is all about emphasis. Okay. Okay. Yeah, got it, sir. Move on. Okay, now we, we will go through a couple of pictures and structures and several other things. Now, 
see over here the very first image we get to see emphasis over here with the red windows in the second one we get to see the uh, emphasis with the these thing like you know this uh, red color box over here okay can anyone tell me in this structure this left hand side uh, bottom one uh, how do we get to see emphasis Yeah. Guys, can you tell how do we get to see emphasis in this left hand one left hand structure? That layered structure. Wave, so wave like. You are talking about these, uh, like you know, protruding structures which are coming out is drawing your attention, right? Yes. Sir. Yeah, exactly. You are right. So the so these things are actually not uh, protruding structures. We are having a snap from the bottom. If you look closely over here, these are actually a shape of balcony created. So this is how design is evolving. You need not to be having the traditional way. This is also we can create a balcony. Okay, this is the way we can do it. So this is what is drawing your attention, the balconies. So this is the point of attraction over here, or the point which is drawing your attention. This is all about emphasis over here. This top, uh, like you know, dome strip structure which we have, golden structure is drawing your attention. That is that is emphasis, like you know, that is being emphasized. Okay. Now we have some other couple of images. Okay, uh, can the, one of you just tell the name of this picture? What we get to see on the top? Guys, anyone? What's the name of this composition? Guys, am I audible? Hello? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, just name the composition. It's with very famous. Leonardo. No, no. I'm asking who. I'm not asking who made it. I'm asking the name of the composition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyone watching it live on YouTube? Can you write down in the chat box what's the name of the composition? It's very easy. It's very common. Okay, no one over here we can answer this. Uh, uh, Shumed, what about you? You also don't know? Shumed is here, I guess. Nikhil is here. Rohan, Rohan, what about you? Rohan? Sorry, Rohan, I don't know, sir. Okay, fine, guys. I, I will just answer you, answer this for you. This is the picture's name is The Last Supper, okay? So, uh, the, like, you know, this is one of the famous paintings uh, which are done. And uh, this is uh, like, you know, you must have to know some of these important pictures or these examples once you are going for your NATA exam, because there might be questions related to this. You are so shown a composition and you are asked to choose the correct name of it. There are questions, very simple, with a one mark, but these questions might come. So you need to know the names. Uh, so this is the last supper. Just try to remember it and try to relate if you notice this picture afterwards as well. Okay, so now, uh, right now in this whole composition, what do you think is getting your attraction? What is drawing your attraction or what is being emphasized? Can anyone just tell that? Okay. Yeah, all, I, I mean all, like, you know, you, uh, you people, everyone should answer, right? So you guys all can answer that. What is drawing your attention? So the group of people sitting Sir, I think if uh, in the first picture, the sir, if it's Jesus, Jesus is like uh, highlighted, I guess, in, in the middle. Absolutely right. So Jesus in the center is uh, highlighted. Now, any idea how he is highlighted? How do you get him highlighted in the composition? Colors, I guess. Can you brief a bit? Uh, sir, the detailing is uh, more, I guess, for Jesus and uh, yeah, blue, royal blue and maroon, I guess, or maybe baby pink, something like that. It's more highlighting the uh, whole figure of Jesus. Okay, 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 fine. I, I will tell you how it's done. So, uh, once you notice this picture, okay, very closely, see, wh when we see here Jesus uh, on both the sides, almost, okay. Other people, they are very much on top of each other, okay? 
And whereas Jesus over here is a kind of bracket on both the sides. We have a kind of space uh, in between Jesus and the other people. That is one aspect. Second thing is that once we notice these other people, they almost have a dark background with these doors. Whereas Jesus, when we notice, see, we have Jesus alone with this kind of these doors and windows, which is going like, which is being opened to the atmosphere. And we get to see that, like, you know, we get to see that light in front of him. So that's how he is being highlighted. Now, if you just ask me, why not then these people? Because like, you know, they are not having any space in between. It's a kind of a group. So your eyes, you just see at the picture and what is getting you attracted, like, you know, what your eyes are going towards once you look and notice. You don't notice this very person, what he is doing. Does your eyes get attracted to this? No, right? But if the same person is in a very, like, you know, if the clothes that he is wearing is kind of very attractive or like, you know, very attracting in very in, in much contrast with the background, that could have attracted your attention. So see, everything once we do is in relation with each other. Once we try to bring emphasis into any composition, we'll also have to remember that there is a point, the, there, there is contrast. This is how you should relate. As I have told all of you guys previously, you will be given a composition in Nata. And after that, you will be asked to point out the four important, or however, most, mostly they ask four important design principles out from that. So when you are willing to, when you are going to point out four important design principles from that composition, so that is how you can relate. Once you see, like, you know, uh, this thing, uh, your uh, emphasis, try to find out contrast. Okay. Once you see balance, try to find out which balance it is all about. But before that, check the option that is it asking you something like that or so. Okay. That is how you can do it. Now, over here, you have a red balloon. That is your point of attraction. And that is uh, what, um, like, you know, uh, it's about emphasis. Uh, okay. Now, just give me a second. Uh, I, I just, just hold on a second. Just, just give me a second. Yeah, uh, anyways, fine. Uh, I will just carry on. So in the central picture, uh, what you have over here, the point of attraction is this lady in the center, okay? And everyone is moving towards her. Over here also something similar, the statues and the statue in the center is drawing your attraction. That's how you get to, like, you know, uh, you are looking at it. Okay, now this is again going into the, like, how we have discussed all the previous things in the class. We will go in the similar way. We have discussed, we have seen some structure seen some pictures and composition. Now we are going forward to the interiors. How, how the, like, you know, how emphasis is being worked out in the interiors of a structure or a building. So this is something uh, in the first composition. Do you really think if uh, this wooden floor would have a red carpet over it, would it, uh, would it have been that emphasized as it is being done by this white one? No. No, right? So see, red carpet, why do we call people like, you know, give an emphasis on the red carpet? Because the ca red carpet, where it's placed, it's being emphasized. So red is something where you are getting that emphasis. Okay. And like, you know, you, you once you look at that, uh, you get an, you get attracted, you get an, uh, you get an attraction towards that, which is in contrast with the rest of the surroundings. Okay. And uh, the, whereas in this wooden floor, which is completely dark brown, you get to see uh, this kind of creamy color carpet. So that is what is getting your attraction at this point. Okay. Now, let's look at some of the other compositions that we have here. So, so we have here a composition related to uh, like, you know, a drawing room kind of thing or a living room, you can say. And what we get to see that uh, all the like, okay, you guys tell me now, uh, we will move one by one. What do you, wh what is the point of contrast or the, like, you know, the emphasis that you are getting to, uh, that, that you are getting, you see out over here in this one, the second picture. It's like a red color. The red color in the background? Volume. So the red color in the background, the wall which is over there is drawing your attention because it's in contrast with the sofa and the rest of the composition. Okay. Now you need to tell me the reason, okay, from the next picture onwards, what's drawing your attention or not. 
Okay, we'll go to the third one. Third one, please tell me what's what's oh, like you know what is out over here. Green color sofa. Green color sofa. Anything else that's drawing your attention? Yes, two red colors. Two. Two red color stuff that is pointed out. Okay, fine. Uh, now, okay, now when we move on to this one, this uh, from the left hand side, bottom one, bottom first. D. Dear, you are talking about? Yes, and the dear look. Okay. Now, do you really think if the deer would have been placed in this white color background, it would have been th that much emphasized in comparison no. with this yellow one? No. No. Why not? Why no? Can you please tell me why no? Uh, sir, because the color of deer is a little bit dull and well, white color is also looking so dull. The yellow color is yeah, going green. right. See, it's kind of creamy. Now, don't go to the eyes, nose, or the like you know, this uh, horns. But when we go to the skin one, it's kind of like you know, attached, it's not that far apart. Like the colors are quite adjacent, so we don't get that much contrast. Okay, now, okay, others also please answer this. Now, uh, some, someone other than Regia, uh, what do we get to see in this composition? Which is the, which object is getting you the contrast? It's a bonfire. First of all, because it is black and everything else is white. Uh, and I don't know, it's just drawing attention all over. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That's what is getting your attention. Okay. Okay, now moving on to the next one. Uh, Gauri, are you there? The, uh, this composition, this bottom one. Tell. Gauri, are you there? Am I audible? Yes, yes, I'm here. Uh, that circle there? part, I think. Talking about this? Okay, fine. That circle part. Okay, so yeah, anything other than the circle? Uh, uh, like uh, both the trees side by side. I don't know. If, if we are like you know leaving this uh, emphasis, what are the other design principles that you can see out over here in this composition? In respect to whatever we have discussed till now, what is the other design principle that you get to see in the composition? Symmetry. Symmetry balance. Yeah. Symmetrical balance. You so yeah, we get to see a proper symmetrical balance exactly in terms of the weightage of the composition on both the sides and also exactly in terms of like, you know, what objects we have on both the sides. So it's an exact symmetrical balance. Okay, now about the last uh, composition, which is out over here. The painting. The painting. Yeah, the painting. Fine. Okay, so we are done till this one. Now we will see something else. Okay. Yeah. Now see, this is like, you know, from some movie or so. We have a kind of... Game of uh, Thrones, sir. Yeah. We have a kind of throne over here or uh, like, you know, the sitting area over here. Okay, so Shumed will tell, like, you know, what, what is the point of emphasis out over here and how is it being created? And some other design principle, if you can relate it to these three questions. Sir, uh, actually the throne is made up of uh, all the swords and swords of all the uh, past kings. Uh, and uh, it is in, obviously the throne is always in the middle of the, the court, kingdom's court. So it is uh, emphasized. Uh, Am I right, yeah. sir? Any other design principles that you get to see out over here? Uh, sir, design. I don't. Mm. So everything is dark, I guess. So that the, is not a design the, principle. That is a point of view or an aspect that you are talking about. I'm talking about in respect to whatever we have discussed till today. What is the other okay. design principle that you get to see other than uh, this emphasis? The uh, uh, symmetrical balance. How come symmetrical balance? Uh, Can you explain? Uh, unsymmetrical. 
asymmetrical balance okay yeah that's what i wanted to know about okay now sir, sir. just yeah yeah tell me sir, from top view it will look like radial band. will look radial balance radial balance okay you're talking yeah fine don't go to whatever you can't see over here go in respect with what you can see in the composition don't make this mistake in any like you know anything that is given to you in the exam also you can understand see this is a very good point grazia that you have pointed out how it will look from the top because you will get several questions related to this not in terms of a composition i guess abs uh, okay we will solve those papers also you are given a 3d figure and you are asked how it will look from the top view or from the side or so now uh, like you know um, uh, in a composition when you are asked, when you are being asked about the design principle don't go in that way or don't go like you know in how it will look and then i will find a design principle design principle related to what you can see right in the composition don't think in the other way around that how it will look from that side or so because that is not what is shown to you okay any uh, tai was told a very good point uh, tai or shayad i don't know because they both are joined from the okay who has told texture tai or shayad you both are in the same uh, both have joined from the same device tai and shayad who uh, who told texture uh, shayad told <laughs> about texture okay yeah shayad you are right uh, we can see a lot of texture over use usage of texture over here uh the texture is actually creating we we get the light from a source or a particular point but after that texture is the important thing which is creating this light and shadow effect in all part so yeah texture is definitely one of the most important aspects okay uh fine anything else that you guys can see a very like in you know, a very simple thing just for you guys i will make it simple what you can see in this throne anything that you can relate it to the design principles term is actually like you know a uh, very uh, you, you all should be very familiar with it so anything that you can notice in the throne guys this is for all uh, like you know people who are watching it live on youtube uh, i am meaning for them as well if you have something i just i see you know i just have the chat box open right in front of me okay so if you have something to say if you have the answer you can text it down we can have a look at that so all sessions are not going to be live once you get that opportunity make use of that that's what i will suggest for all of you like it's swords are shining sir in a radial I manner something okay. different you you have any any design principle or any terminology to relate with because some some element to some elements are there in the throne which relates to a design principle now we have like you know uh, anything you can relate to any or is it the of... color of the throne i will tell you guys what's happening out over here so uh, the throne what we get to see out over here the thing that i wanted to, uh, any one of you to point out was pattern rhythm or repetition you could have pointed out any one of the things see all are not design principle some are visual principles as well now out of which rhythm is our design principle so we get to see here rhythm these things are arranged in a rhythmic manner okay and the pattern and repetition what we see is a visual principle but you could have told anything out of that okay fine uh we have that now let's move on to the next uh, composition now again here we get to see something being arranged okay uh what do you think is the emphasis anyone the droplets which are uh, not being The, the droplets which are proper uh, properly visible to you, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, ah, uh, what is the other design principles that you can see other than emphasis over here? What are the other design principles other than emphasis? There is not only one, but more than one. Asymmetrical band. Anything other than that? Sir, as I said, like last time, repetition of drops. I guess. 
recitation uh, it's it's also for like you know having a kind of it's going in a rhythmic manner you can say uh, no might not be in a rhythmic manner i will say because like you know why because we don't get to see the rhythm out over here something as an up and down or so the, if we just consider the droplets it's being in a continuous way so we get repeat we get to see repetition over here okay that is how you need to discriminate between the things at some point when you need to do that now we will move to the next composition okay uh, my cursor is being invisible at some point okay, okay so now we have these compositions so one by one the first one what is the point of emphasis the lady warmness lady okay now the second one over here umbrella the multicolor umbrella multicolor umbrella absolutely right. it's not the lady over here right now over here the lady okay why the lady in the first image can okay. anyone tell why the lady in the top in the first image because of its shadow and the dark bright color in the background yeah the lady is being highlighted with a contrast in respect to the bright color in the bright background so the lady is the point of emphasis and there is nothing else okay over here the umbrella because the umbrella is something which is having that brightness in respect with anything in the surrounding okay what about this egg wala picture this one which one is the like you know which one is attracting your uh, attention or so broken broken egg broken egg most importantly the yolk uh, coming out from that Okay. Uh, now this last one. This is very simple. I, I, the I, the I of the person who is behind the leaves. Fine. Let's move on. Okay. Now you guys are going to answer again one by one in the same manner, and uh, like you know, we'll go through. Okay. The very first one. What is the point of emphasis? The The flowers. Window, window. Or the camera. Tell you what. Is it a camera? Yeah, it's camera kind of thing, which is out over yeah. here, because the flowers are there all in the background. But this is something that's like you know, you are having a question. See, it's not very clear to me also. But once you look at this picture, it's uh, you are uh, like you know having a doubt. Okay, what is this? You will try to have a look. So this is the point of emphasis. This is being emphasized out over here. Okay, in this one. The other one. Yeah. The first, the I guess. Wait, wait, one by one, one by one. The okay, yellow one. one. The yeah, yeah, handbag one. The handbag. Okay. Anything else? Uh, like you know, hey, anyone else? I I meant anyone else. Statue. Handbag. Statue. i will tell you it's all about the handbag the way it has been placed okay and the, the like you know neighboring colors how they are being used so when you see these colors which are used adjacent to each other and with this patches patches will ask you patches will give you a sense of movement or a direction that is again a different design principle so this patches are giving you a sense of direction towards the central area and where the handbag is placed and you get your is like you know move towards it and you notice that so that is how this like you know this commercial things that is how your attraction is created and how you are pulled towards something okay uh, we will move over here in in this night thing which which is the like you know thing that is being emphasized the logo night the nike logo the nike logo yeah absolutely right okay in the this one and this last uh, like you know this left hand side no, the cloud and the pants okay see cloud now right now over here this whole composition which is there like you know in the back in respect with the background also once any person looks over here no one will try to look okay what's happening inside these windows until and unless you are having any keen interest of what is there your attraction will obviously go to these things this pants how are they placed in a different manner okay what is it all about why like you know it's looking something a kind of interesting it's drawing your attention that is what emphasis is all about 
I, I have explained to you guys very uh, importantly about this thing. I guess regarding how phones are placed in the store, uh, they draw your attention. You look towards them. You have attraction. But once you bring that same phone in your, at your home, you don't have that glam, like you know, glamour of the phone. I have explained this uh, to you guys with the help of, like you know, um, the jewelry shop, how it's placed and how emphasis is being put with the spotlights on the jewelry. How they are like you know made to look much more brighter, much more attractive towards you. So that is what emphasis is all about and how it's done. Now we are having here a few other things with the dark background, the yellow highlighter, which is the point of emphasis over here. This uh, red color, like you know, uh, you can tell spikes or skets. I guess it's spikes only because this frontal area is having uh, those nails. Over here, the bandaid, the huge Hulk uh, hand with this bandaid, everything of green and all, and where, whereas just this part is drawing your attention. What happened to his hand? So it's again the ad about bandaid. Fine. See, we are having here some again some very familiar things in your daily life. What you notice? Okay, we get to see here a person's. Uh, like in the seat belt lock, locking area with this red color button to unlock your seat belt, right? So this is all about emphasis. Again, on the roads, we have several lane marks to understand that. We have on a black color road or a gray, might be you can call it gray because of the dust and all. We have the thing written as slow, which is drawing your attention. In the back of a train, we have this yellow mark. Okay, uh, can you tell why anything like you know that is very relevant that is a uh, kind of danger or that is for a specific purpose why does why is it always in red what is why red why red is so important anyone sir if something or unfortunate happens uh, people should know how to encounter it how to face no. the situation I'm speaking in terms of design, like why red is so attractive, okay? You just tell, relate it with your, I'm just giving you some hint, relate it with your physics. Why red is so attractive? It is a bright color. Bright color and... And, and... and? Sir, it can be seen from a far distance or something. Why it can be seen? In low wavelength or high wavelength, I don't know that thing. What you are in your 12 eight, it has eight 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 thousand and angstrom. But to go in that detail, you could just specify it's high wavelength or low wavelength. High wavelength. High wavelength. This one is having the lowest wavelength in terms of the visible colors that you can see. White. Mm -hmm. I told you guys very first day, white is not a color. White is uh, like, you know, the tint of white and black are the tint and shade. And white is something, white can be created. I guess most of you have like, you know, know, know about this experiment as well in your school days. Many people have done also. You have a color of seven, you have a wheel of seven colors. You rotate it at a high speed, you see white. White is a mixture of different color. White is something which reflects everything. So it looks white. Black is something which reflects nothing, absorbs everything. So it looks black. It's the tint or the shade. Yeah, is red is having high or low wavelength. So red has high and violet has low. See, I will tell you, red light has the longer wavelengths, okay? Uh, if I'm not wrong, it's something in between uh, around 650 or in between 650 to 750 or something like that, okay? NMs. Uh, so that, that, that is what, like, you know, uh, uh, the wavelength of red or the frequency, uh, like, you know, the frequency and all. The blue light has a higher frequency that carries more energy. So lower wavelength. Remember, red is having a lower frequency. So longer wavelength, wavelength is this, the length between this, uh, like, you know, two, uh, like, you know, these rays, which is there, okay, or might be in, in, in the bottom and all. I'm missing that terminology. These are called this crest and tau or, uh, tau or something was there. So that is the wavelength. So when it is having a higher frequency, a lower frequency, so frequency is less, 
the everything is related see frequency less means you have one after some time you have again one so the time time gap is more distance is more frequency is high so it's like up down up down up down it's moving like this so it's like very close to one another so wavelength is less it's as simple as that remember these things as of now because nata you have physics and maths also so you need to answer that okay uh, fine guys uh, now we will check on so that that's how like you know red uh, that's how red works and that's why red is used actually uh, to give you the essence of like you know that it is being highlighted and you can see it from a far distance since it has low wavelength uh, uh, sorry since it has high wavelength you can notice it from a distant place as well that is why most of the laser lights which are there it's having uh, it, like you know it's uh, red this uh, uh, things which you get in this market salon. It can be seen from a far distance or it can be pointed to a higher distance. Okay. Uh, fine. So now we have rhythm and all. Uh, rhythm is again something being like, you know, whatever. See, everything is interrelated. Design principles are always interrelated with each other. Uh, I have told you this from the very first day. So for today, we have discussed in rhythm. And uh, sorry, we have discussed uh, till emphasis. We have completed the whole part of emphasis. Next day, we will start from rhythm. We will discuss each and every nooks and corners and again in the same manner. Okay, now already I have given you an idea about what rhythm is all about. So try to remember that and then we will have these things. Okay. Uh, now, guys, first of all, uh, do you guys have any questions you guys can ask? Any questions from anyone? Yes, no. No, sir. Okay, everything is clear till now, whatever has been discussed? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, great. Fine, guys, just all of you wait for a while. Uh, I'll just get back to you all and just address the people who are live, okay? Just give me two minutes. Okay, uh, just give me a second, yeah. Okay, uh, hi, everyone. So the session for emphasis on design principles was still this. Uh, we are ending the session for you all to, uh, today over here itself. We will connect back uh, tomorrow itself with the next class. You will get the updates in the YouTube. So stay tuned. Uh, make sure you just uh, like, you know, uh, stay tuned to the channel to get all the updates regarding your NATA exam, post exam counseling, how you're going to get your college admissions and all. And whosoever would like to join the classes to join the preparation course with Ignited Day Education, go to the description box and there's a very simple Google form open it with your email ID, whichever you'd like to use and fill the form and get in touch with us. We will get back to you by tomorrow itself. Thanks a lot, everyone. See you all in the next class. Bye.